It's 20th of March. I managed to spend my daughter's birthday in Kiev, surrounded by loved ones. I have not been at home for a long time, and to be honest, I have lost the habit of a big city and peaceful life. One of the first thoughts that came to my mind in Kiev was, wow, why are they all here without uniforms? Why haven't they been issued yet? In the Donetsk region, in towns near the front, there are several dozen military men and women for one person without a uniform. Almost everyone there wears the pixelated camouflage of the Ukrainian army or its analogs transferred to Ukraine by partner countries. In the army, your cook, your doctor, your mechanic, your dentist, everyone wears a uniform. I didn't buy any civilian clothes for a year. I just don't have anywhere to put it on. A friend of mine, while on vacation, bought new sneakers and a bright jacket. He put it all on only once when he tried it on in the store. Now these things are at his house while he himself in the army. This friend of mine says that he bought new clothes for after the war to wear when he returns home and takes off his military uniform forever. The military uniform is now perceived as the norm, which is why I was confused in Kyiv seeing so many people without it. I just got used to the fact that people can wear something else. This also works in the opposite direction, where everyone is uniform, you simply stop paying attention to it. You can even forget that the uniform is an attribute of only a soldier. I'll give a simple example. Not so long ago, in a frontline town, a military man approached me and asked if I was the same guy who hosted the daytime radio show. I told him that it was me. And when this military man asked, are you here for a work? Are you preparing some stories for the radio? In principle, this is a completely normal question. But the fact is that I, like the person who asked me a question, was in military uniform, in a bulletproof vest, with a rifle in my hands. But for a person who had been surrounded only by such people for a year, this was not unusual. If everyone around is in camouflage and with rifles, then why should a radio host look any different? By the way, almost no one listens to the radio in the army. In many places near the front, the FM signal that can be picked up in a car or by any mobile phone simply does not reach. And even where this signal reaches, it still loses to YouTube, TikTok and other entertainment sites and applications. I think if I continued to work on the radio, it would upset me. But now I have completely different, much more serious reasons for being upset. I'll be disappearing again for a few days, but I promise to come back with new episodes, hopefully very soon. And for today's episode, I want to end it with words of gratitude. Thank to all of you who listen to my podcast, who support me and my family. Without you guys, everything would be so tough, even unbearable. It's just amazing that you exist.